Hey there Pokemon fans, Readers here with a vlog. So I got a question on a comment which I could not resist answering and the question is from the bag, cool name, brother, and he says uh, can you share your opinion with us about the new daily spin wheel? So in this video I'm going to uh, try as fast as possible to uh, cover this topic and also the uh, versus rewards ladder topic and the deck, deck reviews topic. So, I got the, uh, get the question for why I stopped deck reviewing uh, and I'm probably gonna keep deck reviewing soon. I think that the community really needs that, especially that now that uh, the Blue Golf Ball stopped deck reviewing, I think that the community really needs deck reviews. I'm not sure if I qualify for that, but I'm, try I'm probably gonna try my best to cover this um, need for deck reviews uh, and I hope that you're gonna help in this one as well. So, uh, really quick because the topic is not that. For those who don't know, uh, we had a recent patch one week ago, by the way it's probably uh, fixing bugs now, it's patching right now, it's um, in maintenance right now and uh, it introduced a new uh, bonus uh, wheel spin um, which is quite cool. You get one one box, one mystery box in every um, spot, but when you get into the spot and you uh, you claim your prize, if you get back into the same spot, you claim nothing. But you have the chance to claim, I believe that's 10, 10 times a, a mystery box. That's very cool. But I think that what's wrong with uh, the Pokemon company is that they are trying to hook us to play more. Pokemon TCG Online, and that's not a bad thing, but when you get an overdose of playing Pokemon, then you don't want to play anymore. And they did that mistake, in my opinion, with the, ver the Versus Rewards Ladder, making it even huger, even bigger, I'm not sure if huger is an actual word, uh, they made it even bigger, and now people don't even reach the end of it, so they play less. Seriously, if they made it, made it small again, people are gonna play more. Uh, they're gonna complete the series, the, the verses, and they're gonna move on to enjoying the game more. When you are forced by your OCD or whatever uh, to complete the ladder or anything, then it's not a good thing, in my opinion, and I think that many people believe that. Now, the fact that it gives you the chance to to play more, it gives you the chance to uh, farm more, that's a good thing. So, I mean that you can just grab one mystery box, which is 100% guaranteed if you get a win, and stop there. That's cool. You may get two or three or four, but don't force yourself to get all ten of them, of those. I don't know how many they are. Don't force yourself to completely uh, get all the rewards from the wheel spin. It's gonna ruin your day, in my opinion. So, that's my opinion. It's good that it gives you the chance to get it, but you should not let your OCD get you. Uh, there are way more important things in life to enjoy than uh, completing this thing. And same goes for the versus rewards ladder. It's good to get the EXs, it's good to get the packs, it's good to get the full art in the end, but don't waste your life on that. It's gonna, it need, you need 200, 200 wins to get uh, to the end of the versus rewards ladder, and you are not gonna get it. Uh, with 200 wins. I mean, if you have the amazing 50% win rate, you need 400 wins to get the full art. Does this full art worth your time for 400 wins? Or you can just win 3 or 4 tournaments in the Pokemon DCG Online tournament section and with those packs get the full art from the trade. Seriously. Does it really worth it? Tell me in the comments below. I'm gonna uh, stop the video now because I don't have a lot of time. Thank you so very much for watching. I really hope that this covers your answer, your question, the bag. And I'm gonna see you in the next one. Until then, take good care of yourself and bye.